Welcome to the MindGenius Fundamentals for Education video. This session is for people who are new to MindGenius, all students and teachers in schools, colleges and universities. We will take a quick look at how MindGenius can help in education and then get straight into the basics of how to use MindGenius. This session will last for approximately five minutes. MindGenius is a mind mapping software tool that offers opportunities to improve collaborative learning, make classes more interactive, and to help students with studying, essays, and projects. Thousands of individual teachers and students at schools, colleges, and universities have been using MindGenius for more than eight years now. Students of all abilities use MindGenius, but MindGenius is also particularly effective at helping students with dyslexia to develop and structure their ideas and organisational abilities. Let's get started and create a basic MindGenius map. From the initial welcome screen, select the paper icon to create a new map. Now you need to pick a topic. In this case, we're going to choose rivers, which might be typical of a discussion in class recalling the things we've learned about rivers. The name of your topic appears in the core of the map. Now we need to capture our ideas. As soon as I start typing, it brings up the dialog box, and when I hit return, it attaches it as a child branch under my central topic. As I continue to type and hit return, this builds my map. This allows me to easily and quickly capture ideas. At this stage, you don't need to worry about chronology or order of the items in the map. Once you have captured all of your ideas, you can use the drag and drop tool to reorder and add structure to your map. There are no constraints to your thought process as you continue to type. If I want to extend on one of my ideas, I click on that branch and continue to type and return. Now I may want to think about reordering my ideas. For example, I'm going to select flow in, which is associated with tributaries, so we can move it and make it a child of the tributaries branch. Confluence point, feed river, and small streams are also associated with tributaries, so I'm going to drag and drop them to the same position. You will see arrows and the outline of a branch, which signify the direction where the branches you are moving will be placed. Now you can continue to use type and return to build your map and focus in on any area to add more ideas. Building a map in this way using keywords is a particularly effective studying technique as it allows you to summarise and reduce the amount of information you are working with. Your map can be edited and revised at any time without the need to recreate the map. Traditional mind mapping techniques suggest making your maps more memorable to aid memory recall and MindGenius allows you to do this. Use the format ribbon to apply different styles to your map to change the colour, brand shape, background, or connector type of your entire map. This allows you to easily and quickly change the overall look of your map. There are preset styles in MindGenius to choose from, or you can create your own. Once you have selected a map style, you can continue to edit the way it looks by focusing in on individual branches to change their shape, choosing from a branch shape gallery, or add more prominence to an area of the map by adding a boundary, again choosing from a boundary style gallery, or by selecting individual or groups of branches and changing their colours to make them stand out. Adding graphics can also help aid memory recall. Images can be added from anywhere in your computer, but there is already a picture gallery in MindGenius, which I am going to use to add images to my map. These images can be placed anywhere on the map, not just attached to a branch, and can simply be dragged onto your map. Continue to add colour or graphics to create an attractive and memorable map. This is particularly effective for studying or to keep students interested in class. So far, the map we have built is typical of a map built in a classroom or for revision. However, many maps for students become more complex, for example, when they are used to summarise complete topics, research and develop a dissertation, large essays, reports or projects. Such maps typically have many sections and branches, such as this physics revision map. But the MindGenius Map Explorer gives you the ability to navigate through your map and focus in on any section. This map contains 9 or 10 topics and we are focused in on one section of the electricity topic but we can focus in on any section or branch of the map. 
either to review or to add further information. We can also use MindGenius for research and to bring information in from other sources. In this case, we will add an Excel spreadsheet on data for our revision. Use the Insert ribbon to add an attachment. Link documents can be on my local drive, a network drive, or even a URL bringing in information from the internet. Click on the attachment, and an icon will appear on the branch to signify its placement. You can link to any type of file in this way. To access the file, simply double click on the icon. This video is an introduction to using MindGenius and does not cover all functionality available. Other functionality that is useful in education is the ability to use question sets and a timer when undertaking brainstorming. These can be accessed via the home ribbon. You can use the inbuilt questions within MindGenius or they can be edited and you can add your own. The timer helps you to keep on track in class discussions and to help keep students focused. MindGenius also allows you to analyse and sort your ideas via the Analyze ribbon, where you can add categories and filter your ideas. It offers comprehensive task and project management, including resources, actions and a Gantt view within the Tasks ribbon, and the ability to export to a wide range of packages, including Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint and Adobe PDF via the Export ribbon. Research shows that students who use MindGenius feel more motivated and engaged in class, and it can really improve their studying techniques and is proven to improve results. MindGenius also enables students to work in a structured, organized manner. For teachers, MindGenius can be used to facilitate inclusive class learning sessions, lesson and syllabus planning, and preparing and managing events and staff meetings.